25? Gone. Uh, gone where? Oh, no, that's the same one. Never mind. Yep. So what I did here, I forgot actually to record, and so now I just started. I'm taking the top piece here, and I'm saying, well, I can redraw that. Because I can see it looks like a delta, but it doesn't really look the way we normal delta looks. So I just redraw that. So this point is that point. This and this are the same. This and this are the same. And this and this are the same. I can attach that one down here. I can push it to the right a little bit there. And this resistor is not going anywhere, so I dropped it. So I didn't convert anything yet. I'm just redraw the circuit. Now I'm going to take this delta and change it to a Y. It's going to have a value. I'll use blue here. It's going to have a value in this direction, one in that direction, and one down. So let's see if I do that. Does that simplify my circuit? So I'm going to have a piece here. We'll calculate that in a second. This is right here, that junction. It's going to come down to 11. And it's going to come right here, 31, 23, 31, 46, no, oh, just line them up will look nicer if you line them up. Like this. So I'm replacing this triangle with this Y. And if I can find the value of each one, then I know these two are connected how? In series, these two are connected in series. I can combine them a little bit and shrink it. Let's get this value. Notice this is this one. It's surrounded by this and that. So it's this times this over the sum of them. When you add the three of them, what's 25 and 55? 80 plus 61? 141. So 25 times 61. 25 times 61 divided by 141. 10.8. The bottom one, 25 times 55 divided by 141. 25 times 55 divided by 141. 9.75. This one here. It's going to be 55 times 61 divided by the sum of them. 55 times 61, the sum of them is 141. 23.8. Everyone's okay so far? Okay. Let's redraw that, make it a little bit cleaner. I'm going to take these, well, I can't. I'm going to do this here, 10.8. I'm going to take this and that, combine them together. I'm not sure if I need more space or not. I'll leave it. What's 9.75 and 11? Uh, that's 20.75, right? I'm right here, that's this point here. Now I got what? The 31. 
And right now it looks like I can add these two, but wait a minute, I'm not done. 23, 31, and this one, I can add these two together. What's this plus that? Uh, 69.8, is it? Again, this bottom one is deceiving because that's really a delta. Because if you look at that picture, it looked like this. Twenty point eight. I don't know why it was seventy five. Two one two decimal places are fine. Oh. Twenty three. I can I can connect it like this. Thirty one. 31. I, these are the same connection. Sixty nine point eight. Agree with that? So do another delta to Y connection. Because if you replace this with with the y, then this will be in series with this. This will be in series with that coming down. Let's see what will happen. I might be able to simplify some of the stuff. Sixty-three, ten point eight, sixty-nine point eight, twenty point eight. Again, I jumped the gun here. And now I'm going to do the y to delta here. Here we go. I'm going to replace that with one resistor this way, one that way, and one down. And this is going like this. Let's add 31, 31, 23. What's the sum here? 62, 85 is it? 85, I think. So to get this value is going to be this times that over 85. 31 times 23 divided by 85, 8.4. To get this value, 23 times 31 divided by 85 is the same number. And to get this value, is going to be 31 times 31 over 85. Eleven point three. And now let's simplify some of these. Again, I'm looking for our look in this direction. I'm not going to close it. I'm not sure how much space I need. 10.8. Can I add these two together now? K 
keep in mind that's going to be connected here and here, right? And the value of that, what is 69.8? It's pathetic, I'm using a calculator for that. Plus 8.4, 78.2. What's 20 plus 20.8 and 8.4? 29.2, is it? And this one is attached where? Right here. Isn't it? And now I have 11.3. Do you see anything else we can combine? That's Bless you. These two in parallel, yes, absolutely. It looks like this. Ten point eight, twenty nine point two, eleven point three. And if you look at that resistor, the seventy eight is attached between this and this, that's right here and between this. So product over the sum, 79.2 times 78.2 divided by the sum of them, 79.2 plus 78.2. Product over the sum. 39.3 So we have 10.8 Can't be has to be lower than 29 has to be lower than that. So let's double check the math 29.2 times 78.2 divided by the sum of them, 29.2 plus 78.2. It's always smaller than the lowest value, 21.3. Now these three, I can add them all together. 10.8 plus 21.3 plus 11.3, 43.4. And now we do the product over the sum. Again, then parallel. I'm looking for R and looking that way the product over the sum divided by 63 plus 43.4. So Rn equals 25.7 ohm. That's the same exact answer as I got when I put in the 110 ohm. You made a mistake. There's no way. Something, <laughs> something was wrong there. <laughs> to include that 110 ohm, there's no way it was, because you connected somehow, it's not connected. So you must have put it somewhere and it just pure like. I did it with a wide delta transformation at the end. I got, I got the same answer. Yeah, but you're still not connecting anywhere. I know, but you can consider it like in Y, ser in y uh, coordination with the end piece. Y to delta. This like is. I didn't care about the left hand side of the resistor. I just cared yeah. about the right hand side connected to the yeah. circuit. Then the left hand side can go to whatever it wants for the rest of the circuit. Okay. Well, this is actually what your answer is. Was that the correct answer? According to the. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay.
So that's an example on y to delta, delta to y conversion. Good one.